Darnell took the job. His first order of business was to establish a believable life in L.A. He kissed his family goodbye that morning, told them he got a promotion, a true Bay Area Los Angeles dual citizenship, and it was all Dr. Reed's idea. So that's it, huh? For now it is. How much is he paying you? A lot more than you are. You know, I can't believe you're doing this. You know, there are consequences to pretending to be somebody that you're not. You know that, right? You know, you're not a fucking drug dealer. You're a goddamn scientist, for Christ's sake. Now look, just tell me that little prick Fleming isn't involved in this. Tell me that much, at least. Look, I gotta go. My sister's waiting for me, and I don't want her to worry about me. Fuck it! It was about six months ago, a time when Clyde thought he could forget his past and put it behind him. Love was in the air, and Clyde was listening to some chick rock. <laughs> Suddenly, things got a little fucked up for him. And this is us when we went out after work last night. What's with the face? Huh? Why are you all serious all of a sudden? You think she's cute, don't you? Well, you better not have a crush on her because she's going to be here like any minute. Babe, who is she? My friend, Grace. Remember, the one that I told you about? She's like the intern at the firm. She's new to LA and she doesn't know anybody. And so she's been wanting to hang out a lot more, which is awesome, because she's super sweet and fun. And she wants to go out tonight to celebrate my new promotion. Oops, speak of the devil. Actually, Andrew doesn't drink. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. I didn't mean... No, I don't trip. It's okay. It's not like I'm an alcoholic or something. I'm just not drinking right now, so... But we have some sparkling water. You can cheers to that. Perfect. Let me fill your glass. I love sparkling rosé. I'm glad you do. It's my favorite, right, honey? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. This one's a little bit sweet. But let's see what you think of it. Here you go. Oh, I'm excited about tonight. Me too. And here you go. Thank Claire. you. So I'd like us to raise our glasses to Claire, who's been such a great mentor to me. Really, thank you. You deserve this job more than anyone else. You're the sweetest person I've ever met. Thank you. And finally, all your good karma's paying <laughs> off. So I want you to get out there and kick some fucking ass. <laughs> to karma. To karma. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <gasps> That's yeah. good. How's your water? Katrina was giddy with excitement. She took Clyde back to his shithole apartment but not out of kindness, for information. She wanted something that only Clyde could get her. She liked Clyde well enough, though. Maybe because he was the first guy to ever get away with socking her in the face and live to tell about it. You love her? Who? I'll take that as a no. Why her? Why her what? Why her? You just don't seem... Go ahead. Just don't seem what? Mind if I smoke in here? Oh, that's right. 
I don't give a fuck. Who are you? Lady, I'm just a brother trying to come up in the world. <laughs> Good for you. Is that the same pickup line you used to get in Claire's pants? I'm sure it worked really well. Maybe we should ask Chip. They seem to be really close. Karma's a bitch, isn't it? It's okay. Look, I know what it feels like. It feels like someone just punched you right in the spleen, doesn't it? It's not about what you think might have happened, but the fact that another man's hands were on your girl. Chip. I get that. Fuck you. Andrew! Chip. I think maybe you should go. Or, I... I, I just think maybe he missed his medication or something. It's all right. Got a uh, job interview to get ready for anyway. Really? You didn't tell me. Yeah, a company called Red Reed. Well, what kind of company are they? They're a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, that's right. How'd you know that? Lucky guess. Chip ended up getting hired by Dr. Reed personally. Okay. His job title was vague. Product consultant. But the two of them were close. Katrina knew what that meant. He keeps calling her cell. A guy that calls more than three times a day might be suspicious if their friend that usually picked up didn't. You don't seem too fond of him. <laughs> I don't blame you. If I needed a melatonin to sleep, and my girlfriend was friends with a guy named Chip, I wouldn't be the happiest cow on the farm either. You know where he lives, don't you? I think we should pay Chip a little visit. Come on, you know you want to. It's kicked in, hasn't it? Come on. Before I hand you over to them. If not for you, do it for me. What am I gonna do? My hands are tied behind my back. Your hands behind your back will make him nervous. Fine. What are you planning to do with me? Make him forget all about Claire. Hey, Chip! Chip Conley. How's it going? Is it really you? Do I know you? What are you doing here? Claire didn't call you? No. I uh, haven't talked to her since yesterday. I'm busy with work. I mean, a few days ago. Why, what's going on? Claire should be here any minute. Mind if we come in? Sure. So what you got back there? Behind your back. What's in your hands? It's a surprise. Claire didn't tell you? Didn't tell me what? That she's setting us up on a date. Tonight. Hmm. Hey, be careful with those. I just thought you might want a little dip. Or your chip. What? Friend. I want you to finish what I started. 
Sort of big plans. 